Hey everyone, Jillian here. So I'm super excited. I just went on a big grocery haul with my mom and we got tons of stuff for the week. Exciting recipes to come, so I wanna show you what I got. So, started off with these bananas. Staple in my diet. Most of you that watch my videos already know this. Um, ripe bananas, so you want them to be spotty. They digest the best this way and they're the sweetest, so they taste the best as well. So I got about four bunches of bananas to start off with. And then I picked up some nectarines. They're in season right now here in Ontario. They're super sweet. These ones aren't quite ripe, so I'm gonna have to wait a day or two to get into them. But I like to add them to my banana strawberry smoothies. Uh, they're delicious with that combo. Um, I also picked up some Atalfo mangoes from Mexico. These are probably my favorite mangoes and I like to use them for dressings, I like to put them in salads, as well as blend them in my smoothies. So tonight I'm going to be making a um, mango avocado jalapeno dressing, and I'm going to put it on a bed of greens with some veggies and fruit, so stay tuned for that recipe. Alright, then I also have some hemp hearts here. I really like hemp hearts because they make your smoothies creamy. I add in like about a tablespoon or two. So today we did banana, strawberry, hemp hearts, and some flax seeds, which my mom suggested, these guys here. So you actually have to grind them up before you put them into the smoothie. So in a separate grinder, because if they're not ground up, you won't digest them. They'll go right through you. So banana, strawberry, flax, hemp seeds, or rather hemp hearts, Favorite new smoothie, uh, the hemp hearts give it a lot of creamy texture and then the flax um, is just really complimentary on top of that. So, and flax is great for digestion, it's high in fiber. So um, yeah, try that one out. All right, then I also got some natural raw almonds for making homemade almond milk. So when you're picking out your almonds for your almond milk, you wanna make sure they're organic, they're natural, and they're raw. You don't want the roasted or salted. You want them to be plain. So I picked up about probably three or four cups of those. Then I also picked up some coconut sugar. Yeah. So coconut sugar is great for baking. It's great for when I make my pasta sauce, I like to sweeten it up with some coconut sugar. You can also add it to your smoothies. Uh, my mom said she's gonna add it to her coffee in the morning because she has eliminated milk from her coffee and she wants it to be a little bit sweeter. So lots of great options. It's one of the best unrefined, unprocessed sugars. Okay, and I also have some mung beans here, which I've actually never bought before. Um, but I had some at my girlfriend's house the other day and she suggested sprouting them. Really, really easy to sprout apparently. I've never done it before. I'm gonna look up a video on it. And then adding them to salads. They're super nutritious and they're really tasty. So why not, right? And then I also got some, what else do we have over here? Some cacao powder. So I'm not like a huge cacao head. I'm not like putting it in my smoothies every day, but I do every so often like to put it put it in my smoothies. Um, chocolate banana date or chocolate banana strawberry. You just put in about a tablespoon of cacao and it's pretty amazing. So try that out. Oh, I also got some, look how good these look, some fresh Ontario strawberries. Mm. So I'm gonna use those in my salad tonight and in my smoothies throughout the day as well. Also picked up some raspberries and a couple of plums. And okay, yeah, so my mom's gonna be making these stuffed portobello mushrooms tonight over a bed of rice. So we needed to restock the rice cabinet, picked up some brown rice. What else do we have? Oh yeah, this looks awesome. I got this big ass cantaloupe for breakfast this morning. It's pretty good. Apparently, if it has some yellow tones on it, it should be ripe, according to my grandmother. We'll see uh, see how that goes. But I like to eat melons first thing in the morning, so I'll probably do that for breakfast tomorrow. They're super hydrating. Okay, oh yes, here. Big ass bag of potatoes. Should last me for a while. I When I make potatoes, I normally just cut them up into potato wedges, put them on parchment paper, and pop them in the oven. No oil, no seasoning. And if you get the good potatoes, they're damn good that way. So, and I usually eat those with like a big salad. 
All right, what else do we have? So sun-dried tomatoes that my mom picked up for her, her um, portobello mushrooms and some jalapenos. So I like to add jalapenos to my salad dressing to give it a bit of a kick. So tonight I'm gonna do mango avocado jalapeno. Recipe coming. Cheesecloth, I use this to make my almond milk to strain the almonds. And I think that just about covers everything. Oh, I do have a couple more things I wanna show you in my fridge, okay. So, I have a nice big head of kale, as you can see here, as well as some hearts of romaine, organic romaine, yeah. And, oh yeah, these guys are the mushrooms my mom's gonna use to stuff tonight. She's gonna stuff them with a bunch of veggies. That recipe will be coming soon too. All right, so I think there we have it. When I make salads, it's really about texture for me. So I like to put kale and romaine and fruit and veggies, anything that's gonna give it substance. And then of course the dressing is important too, but I'm not a big fan of like mixed greens, like the soft lettuce, I like more crunch. So romaine is where it's at for me as well as kale. So yeah, that was my big grocery haul this morning. And uh, potatoes are gonna be good tonight. Stay tuned for the recipes for the salads and for the portobello mushrooms. Thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, please share it, please subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.